new anointing. It's a new stage. Father, we welcome you in our midst. Father, we say, have your way in each and every one of us, O Lord Jesus Christ. Minister to us once again in your own ways, O Lord. We thank you and we welcome you and we say, have your way, great God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, leo tajitahidi kongea kiswahili sana na kingereza kidogo sana. Hallelujah. Amen. So, jana tumejifunza uh, kufanya kwa moyo na kutoka kwenye moyo. So, kuna point chache tu ambazo nikuwa sijamalizia ambazo hizo tutazimalizia leo na amini bwana atakuwa mwaminifu sana ndani ya muda mchache tutakuwa tumemaliza haleluya amen so jana tumeona hakuna kitu ambacho utakifanya bila wewe kuinvolve moyo wako bila wewe kuinvolve I mean, yes god is faithful amen I mean, without you doing it deep from your heart and with your heart connected to what you're doing hallelujah hallelujah so ukifanya tu bila ku connect na moyo wako hata kama kinatokea ndani ya moyo wako hautaona mafanikio hautaona matokeo but utakapounganisha hivi vitu viwili hapo ndipo utakapoona mafanikio hallelujah tukaona vile bible inatuambia vile vitu vyote vina flow from the heart. Hallelujah. Tulisoma ile Zaburi. Tulisoma Zaburi 4 nafikiri mstari wa 23. Zaburi 4 mstari wa 23. Hallelujah. Nasema above all is guide your heart for everything you do flows from it. Mungu anapotuambia kwamba tulinde sana mioyo yetu kwa sababu kila kitu tunachokifanya kina flow from your heart. Kwa hiyo usijokaona mtu anafanya vibaya ukajua afanye kutoka kwenye moyo. Ule ubaya pia ume flow from his heart. Kwa sababu at the point you start exposing your heart into the things that are no good into the things that are not proper to you nipopo unapoanza kujaza moyo wako na vitu ambavyo vitaanza kutoka ndani ya moyo wako haleluya so it's my responsibility now to position myself at the place where I cannot contaminate my heart. Yaani ambini nikae kwenye sehemu ambayo moyo wangu kuchafuliwa. Pastor Ine ameongea kuhusu hali ya hewa asubuhi ya leo. Kwa sehemu ambayo utahakikisha kwamba unaulinda moyo wako against bad influence against bad words against disappointments mimi wanaambiaga wenzangu wale kule ofisi naambiaga bad news don't give me usiniambie kama una habari unaona jua kabisa it's not a good news naambia at the point that i am now i'm not ready to receive any kind of bad news and it's not that i'm not strong enough but i know once i receive this kind of news i'm contaminating my heart hakati najua bible inaniambia kabisa linda sana moyo wako kila kitu mafanikio kila kitu flows from my heart and so why should i expose my heart to bad things to bad news to bad companions why so i have no reason reason pekee nilionayo ni kutii neno la Bwana ili kitu kinacho flow from my heart kiwe pure haleluya mafanikio 
Kwa hivyo natuambia kwa mtu yote yule ambaye anafuata hizi prism atapata mafanikio. Ngo najiuliza siku Bible anasema kila analofanya itafanikiwa. Nikasema hii huyu mbona anasema huyu mtu atakuwa kama mti. Hapo nikajiuliza siku nyingine jambo kuwa <coughs> Yesu alipomponya yule kipofu at the first sight yule kipofu aliona watu kama miti. I'm like God this is the kind of revelation. This man alikuwa kipofu. Hajawahi ona mti, hajawahi ona mtu. But now amefunguliwa tu kidogo, anasema ah, ninaona watu kama miti inatembea. And then the same Bible in Psalms chapter 1 tells me kwamba huyu mtu ukiwa ukisoma Zaburi um, chapter 1 Mwanzoni pale anachokielezea basically ni kulinda moyo wako. Anasema heli mtu yule asiyeenda katika shaula sio haki ambaye ameshika Bible naomba atusome. Atusome mpaka mstari wa tatu pale anaposema kila anapofanya uh, litafanikiwa. Kila anaofanya litafanikiwa. Heri mtu yule asiyekwenda katika shauri la wasio haki wala hakusimama katika njia ya wakosaji wala hakuketi barazani pa wenye mizaha bali sheria ya Bwana ndio impendezayo na sheria yake huitafakari mchana na usiku naye atakuwa kama mti uliopandwa kando kando ya vijito vya maji uzaao matunda yake kwa majira yake wala jeni lake halinyauki na kila alitendalo litafanikiwa haleluya sio unaona ile mistari ya kwanza huko ameishia kwamba kila fanyano litafanikiwa lakini ile mistari ya kwanza basically inamwambia kwamba huyu mtu analinda moyo wake haendi katika shauri na wasio haki anaulinda moyo wake anasema atakuwa kama mti no mtu kama mti ah nikasema bwana mimi ni mti ni mti uliopandwa kando kando ya maji nami nitatoa matunda yangu kwa wakati yani when time comes that i need now to give this kind of fruits i will give it because the bible says i will be like a tree planted beside the still waters and i'll give forth I will give forth my fruits. Can you listen? Is it fruits? Si ndio mafanikio. Ah matunda ambayo yanaongelewa hapa ambayo yanatoka kwa wakati wake ndio hayo mafanikio. So, nika conclude pia nikasema kumbe haya matunda yanatoka kwa wakati Naweza mimi nikasema hii nifanikiwe sasa hivi nipate gari nipate nyumba nipate watoto nipate mke yani within one year lakini bible inambi hivyo anambia haya matunda yanatoka kwa wakati unionyeshe mimi mti mmoja ambao unatoa matunda throughout the year mwamshe jirani yako kama nala mpendo kama unampenda mwamshe tu fanye tu hivi kama mama anavyosema pige tu kipepsi kidogo kama unampenda na yeye toe matunda haleluya amen so bible inaniambia haya matunda yanatoka kwa wakati hakuna mti wa matunda ambao unatoa matunda yake throughout the year kuna muda wa kuchakata kuna muda wa kumwagiliwa kuna muda wa kupaliliwa kuna muda wa kuprune huu mti mmoja umejiweka vipi katika position yako unataka tu utokee kwenye harvest time yani unataka from nowhere wewe ujikute mti wako una maembe umejaa tena yale ya kisasa ambayo hata mwanangu ule mdogo 
kwa mizi ngapi anachuma kwa sababu yale yanaota hivi kwa sababu haya ndio mapungufu yetu tunataka mafanikio yatokee so abrupt so abrupt as if kama Yesu alikuja siku moja akaanza huduma yake siku hiyo hiyo it was a process from the message that the angel delivered to Mary mpaka mtoto anakuja kuzaliwa mpaka baba anaambiwa protect your kid mtoe hapa mpeleke misi anakuja kumuua Herode Herode anaitafuta roho yake so it was a whole process mpaka Yesu anakuja kutimiza ile kazi aliyoijia pale msalabani yeye mwenyewe amekutana na vikwazo vingi. Hai kesi kwamba akamwambia yule mwanafunzi wake mwenyewe, "Eh, rudi nyuma shetani wewe uyawaze roho ya Mungu." The closest friend anamwambia, "Ah ah ah. No, Petro wewe hauwazi roho ya Mungu. Unataka mimi nisifikie pale." Mchakato wote huu wa kuelekea mafanikio. Tuko hapa leo. Tunaongelea mafanikio. Sasa nimefanikiwa, nimefanikiwa. Ukitoka hapa kwenye kongamano hili, ukafika nyumbani, ukakaa siku moja, siku mbili muamshe. Siku moja, siku mbili. Ukaona kile ambacho umeexpect haikutokea. Sasa ah lile kongamano, alikuwa anasema ngona kwangu hayatokee. My dear. This is the time that you have to do the declarations. Unde muda ambao unatakiwa sasa uanze ku declare vitu ambavyo umevisikia kutoka kwenye madhabahu vitu ambavyo tumevisema sasa kama ulikuwa una declare with your mouth una declare tu without your heart in it pia hautapata unamwambia Mungu nime declare vitu vingi sana 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 lakini nilikuwa na declare tu kwa mdomo tu but now oh lord this comes from my heart i do this declarations from my heart have it okay vivi sisi vitu vyetu vyote vinafanyika mafanikio yetu yote yanatokana na neno maneno haya unayoongea these declarations sio ukakaa hapo ukasema ah mimi mimi maskini tu kweli umaskini utakuvaa ndio maana mtu akikwambia habari mbaya unaambia we aka shindwa it won't happen to me eh we hautaolewa eh nani Sitaona shindwa kabisa futa na futa na futa kwa jina la Yesu nitaolewa nitaolewa Sasa kwa nini usikae we mwenyewe ukaanza ku declare vile vitu Mungu amekuahidi in the Bible The God I see my marriage I see it oh Lord Jesus Christ and it's a good one in the name of Jesus I see myself succeeding in my career I see success, myself succeeding in this parenting Lord I see my marriage flourishing Why don't you declare that Mama ametufundisha jana kwa bidii akatufundisha pia na matamko Ametufundisha hapa mama jana lakini kama nikisimama mimi nikianza ku declare hivyo vitu kwa mdomo ndugu yangu utachelewa sana kuona mafanikio huo mdomo ambao unaomba vitu vibaya ambao sisi tunajua watu uko nje wakitongelea vitu vibaya tunasema nafuta huo mdomo ulionao unaomba vitu vizuri usisubiri mtu aje akuumbie anza kuumba wewe mwenyewe haleluya anza kuumba wewe mwenyewe ukiwa chumbani kwako ukiwa hata ukiwa barabarani hata ukiwa tu unatembea wanasema bwana leo natembea lakini kwa kadri jinsi hivi ninavyotembea sitembei bure yani hatua yangu moja inamaanisha mafanikio yangu oh nikipiga hizi hatua mpaka pale kawe mafanikio yangu yamefika kileleni kwa maana ninafikia madhabahu yako madhabahu ambayo wewe mwenyewe bwana umeithibitisha ah mpaka nikifika pale nimethibitika 
Mungu asikuthibitishi. Serious. Haleluya. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So above all just to conclude from my notes from what we started yesterday. Najua wengine labda hamkuepo jana lakini tokea jana tokea juzi Mungu ametokea msingi mzuri sana tukagundua above all sisi kumpenda Mungu kunatupa sisi kuishi lakini kumpenda Mungu sisi sisi kumpenda Mungu hatuanzi anasema yeye alitupenda wa kwanza Mungu alitupenda sisi wa kwanza wakamtoa mwanawake aje atuokoe sisi. Bible inasema kumkumbu ya Torati 30 mstari wa sita. Nasema wana Mungu wako atatairi moyo wako ili umpende yeye. Hicho kitendo tu cha Mungu kuchukua initiative ya kusema uma nitatairi moyo wake ili anipende. Na maanisha yasha kupenda kwanza ila anajua wewe kumpenda yeye hivi hivi haiwezekani lazima yeye afanye kitu kwanza Yesu alisema aliwaambia wanafunzi wake kwamba hakuna ajaye kwangu ila yule aliyeletwa na baba tu hamna aende kwa Yesu hivi hivi lazima Mungu mwenyewe aanze anaanza kutairi moyo wako ili umpende na anatu promise kabisa kwamba tukishampenda tutaishi. Haleluya. Haleluya. Tukishaishi haya maisha ambayo tunayaishi ndio hapo anasema sasa. Baada ya kutahiri mioyo yetu ndio hapo anasema utakuwa kama mti uliopandwa kando ya maji utoao matunda yake kwa wakati na kila afanyalo itafanikiwa. Haleluya. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So it starts with God. It ends with God. So ndarudia tena kama jana. Nimemaliza. Jana nibakishe hicho kipengele kifupi. Chakuwa kama mti cha kufanikiwa hapo. Ambao ndio theme yetu ya mwanamke wa mafanikio. So nimemaliza lakini kama unajua moyo wako hujatairiwa Naomba tu unyoshe mkono wako hapo ulipo Kwa maana ya kwamba haujaokoka Ili upate hizi promise ambazo Mungu ametuahidi ili uziishi Lazima kwanza moyo wako utairiwe Lazima kwanza moyo wako utairiwe. Kwa kama unajua kabisa, mimi sijawahi simama nikaenda mbele nikasema Bwana pale kwenye zamuli anasema mwanangu nipe moyo wako. Macho yako yapendezwe na njia zangu. Sijakupa moyo wangu Bwana. Kama unajua kabisa. You don't even remember the date ambayo ulisema kabisa from today nafanya maamuzi nusa tu mkono hapo hapo ulipo haleluya um, namshukuru Mungu kwamba wote tumetahiriwa naamini ndivyo hivyo basi kama wote tumetahiriwa tusimame tumshukuru Mungu kwamba sisi tunaenda kufanikiwa kwa maana Bwana ametupanda kando ya vijito vya maji. Tunatoa matunda yetu kwa wakati. Jani letu hata moja halitanyauka. Haleluya. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Twende mbele za Bwana, tumshukuru Bwana kwa hili neno. Tumshukuru Bwana kwamba hata tutakapotoka hapa Tunajua mafanikio ni process. Tunajiweka kando ya hiyo mito. Tu 
Tupo tayari bwana sisi kupaliliwa tupo tayari sisi bwana kupruniwa <laughs> anasema <laughs> ule mti uzao yeye yeah, anausafisha unazaa zaidi amen na unajua usipozaa unafanyaje sitaki kusema hiyo mkasema tuta make declaration ya kukatwa na kutupwa amina amen, amen. Thank you.